So I just finished eating some cherries, if you couldn't tell. And I got impatient and I started cracking them open because I want to grow some cherry trees. I've tried to grow cherries from seed before, didn't work. So let's just see how my impatient way works because I'm gonna try to get everything done <laughs> tonight. You know, we'll just, we'll see. So these seeds cannot be used, can y'all see that? Because they're all wrinkled and shriveled, but these can. So I'm going to go ahead and put these um, in the freezer for a couple of hours and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I have the seeds in the freezer for about three hours and then um, I immediately took them out and put them in some hot water, not like boiling hot, just some regular hot faucet water. And they've been sitting in the water for maybe an hour and a half, almost two hours. So um, at this point, I did try to start peeling away at this um, seed coat because apparently they won't germinate with this coating on it which I think is strange but I think I'm just going to leave the rest of the seeds in here until uh, later on because it's about 2 a.m. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna finish peeling this and then, no I'm not. I'm gonna put that back in there. Oops, I'll, cont I will continue this in the morning. Okay, so these are the seeds all peeled. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but these this is the pile that um, split in half. But I'm still going to try, because why not? Um, and only three of them are still whole. Um, so yeah, these are split. These are whole. Time to plant them. So I have two bags here. One will go in the windowsill and one will go in a dark place. And then I have two containers that I will fill with some potting mix. One will go outside and one will be in the windowsill. So, let's see. Here's the paper towel. I'm going to be using the paper towel microwave. And I know you're probably thinking, that's not the way to do it. There's a certain way you have to grow cherries from seed. I've tried several different ways, including the quote unquote proper way, and I've never gotten any to Germany. So I'm just going to experiment with my impatient way and see how that works. Just to reiterate one last time, yes, I've tried the quote-unquote proper way to grow cherries from seed um, and a few other ways. Didn't work. So now I'm trying what I call, wow, the lazy way. I am curious, like, since, see look, it's split, uh, but since, um, everything was already peeled and,
ready to go, could they germinate faster? Because from what I've seen, these plant or these seeds are germinating like with the pits and the coating. And I wonder if, you know, doing this a little bit faster will speed things up. And now I will water them. Oh wait, which one was this? This one doesn't have a hole at the bottom. I forgot. So I'm just pouring that, all the excess water out. Um, this one will be the one that I leave in the windowsill. I'm just going to put some plastic over them and then put them in their rightful spots. Tell me in the comments, what's the craziest way you've grown a seed or gotten a seed to germinate? That's just completely completely left field from the traditional way of doing things. Okay, so I know some of y'all are thinking it's not going to work. Like those seeds, those seeds are split. It's not going to work. And I'm very well aware of that. I know that. But this is just an experiment. It's just a test because not all of them are completely split in half. Some of them are split and still connected. And there's a very, very, very small chance that because some of them are still connected, there's a small chance that it still might germinate. So why not test that out? See what happens. Why not? <laughs> It'll be fun. And um, that's one more thing I can update y'all about. This one's looking kind of weird. But um, that's one more thing I can update y'all about. And maybe y'all could end up, you know, trying it for yourselves. And I've never gotten any cherry seeds to germinate anyway so if they do germinate this way i would be very very happy shocked and happy okay y'all that's it that's all i wanted to say thank you all for watching like comment and subscribe